things nice and dry all across the area. Beautiful view right there over Marblehead. The water looking nice. The skies nice and blue. We're seeing a few of those clouds starting to develop, but this is just the beginning. More cloudy skies are on the way. We're also tracking that chance for some rain, but right now let's just enjoy this nice weather. Seeing temperatures reading in the upper 70s, but most of us in the low to mid 80s. You can see Fremont at 81, Tiffin at 80 degrees, and those down towards Finley around 86 degrees. And enjoy this because this really looks to be the last mild day for the rest of the year. Temperatures will continue to cool down and eventually feel a lot more like November rather than October. Radar and satellite also quiet, just tracking that increase in clouds, but those rain chances will be back for tomorrow. Today, we're just going to be seeing that increase in clouds throughout the afternoon and also throughout the evening. You can see we're seeing partly cloudy skies right now, eventually mostly cloudy skies, and then throughout those nighttime hours, still tracking mostly cloudy skies, if not overcast conditions for the rest of today. So things not too bad. You can see those clouds increasing throughout this lunchtime hour throughout tonight on and off clouds and still seeing some seasonable temperatures. Thursday morning, things not too bad. You're waking up early, still tracking cloudy skies. Your morning commute, not too bad. It'll be around this time, if not even later, that those rain chances will start to increase right around the time you're heading home from school, heading home from work. More on and off showers will develop throughout the afternoon and also throughout the evening and that's just the beginning. More rain chances for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and even a little bit into Sunday and eventually drying out by Monday. So today things looking really nice. We're seeing temperatures still fairly mild in the mid 80s with more clouds on the way. I'll tell you what, get outside and enjoy because things really looking and feeling a lot like fall and more with that information. We have meteorologist Matt Willoughby standing by. Matt, we have some fun things to talk about as we approach the fall season, right? Yeah, of course, it is a uh, full swing into the fall season, although it doesn't necessarily feel like it. So three things to look forward to in the month of October. Of course, that decreasing daylight for right now, we're about to see at least 11 hours and 30 minutes of daylight. But if you fast forward to pretty much Halloween, we'll only see 10 hours and 25 minutes. Of course, that sunset time will be right around 710 for today, but at least by the end of the month, we'll be at 630. So, of course, a look at number two. Of course, with that uh, comes cooler weather and also frost and freeze. So the average first frost typically are October 6th, but last year was just October 8th. That first, uh, at least the last freeze uh, will likely be around uh, November. That is, so of course, like I said, we'll see a decreasing daylight and eventually as we go throughout uh, uh, of at least uh, the month of October, we'll see uh, that first freeze as well. And of course, the countdown, a uh, number one. Yeah, that peak of fall foliage. So this is at least the good thing about it. Those beautiful colors uh, will start in a uh, roll entire area, of course, and eventually we'll likely see um, some uh, nice colors. But right now we're seeing pretty much little to no color out there for us. But eventually by late October, that's when we'll finally start to see uh, some of those uh, colors, even those peak colors as we head throughout late October. So tons to look forward to as we head throughout October, Kaylee. Matt, thanks so much. Yes, I'm so excited to talk about the leaves changing and it's just that time of year. We're seeing a bunch of different colors, not yes. only with the leaves, but also with the sky. We're talking blue skies. We're talking gray skies and we're also talking about some cooler temperatures today. Not too bad. We'll be in the mid 80s, but then cooling down to the upper 70s for Thursday, upper 60s by Friday and looking ahead towards the weekend. It is going to be a chilly one, so you may want to have that extra layer, maybe even that hot chocolate or that pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs>